Hey guys, so we have an urgent information coming out. This is another update of 3i slash Atlas interstellar object that's heading towards our way uh, this coming November. All right, so this is a video here that I want to play. And um, the audio is not going to be that great. But uh, I'm going to try my very best to get the uh, sound, uh, audio sound a little higher but uh again guys this is where we add this is the updates now i don't believe i don't believe in ufo i don't believe in like you know alien stuff but i do believe what the bible says fallen angels antichrist spirits coming into the world i do believe that uh there are demons uh again i'm a follower of jesus christ I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior back in 2012. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. I got to put all that information out there because a lot of people think that I'm pushing, uh, pushing this agenda. I'm not pushing it. I'm just giving you guys updates and, uh, again, letting people know that Jesus is the only way. This stuff here is just a whole bunch of baloney. But it could also line up with the book of Revelation possibly the great star that will fall from the sky and the name of the star is Wormwood. Now again, the star also symbolizes as a metaphor angels. All right. So many, many stars falling from the heavens, which is uh, the fallen angels. All right. So we're going to see what's going on here. Once again, please share the video for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request. You can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago. At 3432 US Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to help and support the channel, we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also the description box. Thank you for your support. A third interstellar object is here. But here's the thing this one's acting strange. It's coming in hot from a galactic center on a path that barely makes sense, aligned with Earth orbit, skimming past Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. Scientists say odds of this trajectory happening by chance are less than 1 in 20,000. Some call it a comet. Others aren't so, so sure. If it glows wrong, moves wrong, or dodges gravity, it's not natural. We can't launch anything fast enough to catch it, but we might be able to redirect Juno to intercept. All right, so I'm gonna play the video, but let me just bring this one up really quick here, guys. I wanna play this video here. Some of these information, uh, This thing look like it's gonna hit Mars right there. Boom. Oh man, that was really close. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be near Earth, and look at this. It's heading towards Jupiter. Oh uh, me, that was close. That was really close. Woo wee. Okay, so all right, we're gonna see what's going on here, guys. Give me a second. Let me just read this, and now I'm gonna take it straight to the video. Uh, interstellar object. 3i Atlas is here, and no one agrees on what it is. <sighs> this is where we at right now. Spotted blazing in from the Milky Way at 37 miles per second. 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar object ever seen near Earth. NASA calls it a harmless space rock or comet. Harvard's Avi Loeb says maybe not. This thing could be an alien <sighs> or a great star falling from the heavens, perhaps Wormwood and a uh, fallen angel. 
It won't get closer than 150 million miles, but its path and behavior have scientists watching hard. Now it says here, some see a normal ice ball, others see a signal. Either way, it hits peak solar approach on October 30th. Alright, they keep changing the date. They keep saying it's October or late November or early December. There's a possibility this might be around Halloween. All right, guys, let me just play this video here. Hopefully, the audio is great. News Nation is putting out this info here. Give me a second. I'm going to share this one on my Twitter page. The link will be in the descri uh, description box. Because it has anomalies. Um, it moves on a trajectory that is very unusual. Uh, it al is aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, and uh, it will get extremely close to the inner planets, like, uh, for example, Jupiter, Mars, or Venus. It will arrive closest to the Sun when the Earth is on the opposite side, so we won't be able to look at it. And that's the point where a spacecraft could make a maneuver to slow down. Uh, and uh, it's coming from the direction of the Milky Way galaxy, the center of the Milky Way galaxy, where the sky is very crowded with stars, so that's why it took a while to notice it. Um, and altogether, you know, the chance of this trajectory is uh, less than 0.2% to be aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, less than one part in 20,000 to arrive so close to the other planets. And one wonders, could it be a design trajectory? And I'm not saying that we know, but I'm saying that we need to collect more data to figure out the nature of this object. And if it turns out to be a comet, if it's uh, surrounded by a beautiful cometary tail uh, uh, that is glowing in, in the sunlight as it gets closer to the sun, so be it. But from now on, the Rubin Observatory in Chile will discover a new interstellar object every few months. And my point is, we should check whether any of these objects might be technological in origin because it's a security risk to Earth. Right. H how do you check that? So it's interesting you mentioned about the trail that might indicate it's a comet. How, what would be the signs that it's not a comet? Well, so I suggest uh, first establishing a scale of risk from interstellar objects similar to the Richter scale for the risk from earthquakes. A zero would mean that we identify a beautiful tail and it looks just like a regular comet. We can infer the composition of the tail. It's similar to comets. A 10 would mean that the object maneuvers in ways that cannot be explained by the force of gravity, that there must be an engine in it, or it has an unusual shape, or it has artificial lights. And there should be an organization that uh, decides whether uh, a, a, an incoming object could be a risk, because we talk a lot about uh, existential risks from artificial intelligence, from uh, climate change, from an asteroid that may impact the Earth, but not we don't talk at all about the possibility of alien tech. And I think we should take it into consideration because we sent out spacecraft that would leave the solar yeah. system. Well, let, let's talk about that for a second. So it is estimated to be about 12 miles long, okay? Uh, you, and correct me if I'm wrong, you want to use NASA's Juno spacecraft, Juno spacecraft, to intercept the path of that. Um, it has instruments that could study it. Uh, it could change the trajectory of the orbit. Can you explain a little bit more how this would work? Yeah, so we, uh, we should take advantage of the fact that it comes so close to Jupiter. It's quite amazing. If you look at Jupiter's orbit, uh, it, it just gets to the point where 3 I Atlas will be on the 16th of March, 2026. And I calculated that uh, if we give a, a small kick to Juno of 2.6 kilometers per second, uh, just around the time when NASA was, was thinking of just sinking it into Jupiter because it's the end of the mission. And I'm saying instead of uh, letting it dive into Jupiter, just kick it out away from Jupiter, uh, then with the right orientation, it will actually intercept the path of 3i atlas and it's an amazing opportunity for us to learn much more about this object yeah. uh, because we can't launch any rocket from earth that would intercept this object it's moving too fast relative to earth in the opposite direction of the motion of earth around the sun
You wrote that if this 3i atlas is a technological artifact, it could be evidence of the dark forest hypothesis. What, what is that? That's uh, one of the solutions to Fermi's paradox, which is the question, where is everybody? And of course, it's possible that aliens are out there, uh, but uh, they are worried about predators and therefore they're silent as if they are in a dark forest. And if they see a civilization like ours, a young technological civilization that gets more powerful over time, and they are listening to us, they might send a, a, a probe or a, a spacecraft on a reconnaissance mission or with some other goals. And we should be ready for that. Uh, the, we should monitor the sky and be aware of that potential possibility. And uh, just ignoring it is not intelligent on our behalf. Okay, so he believes that this could be some kind of a, a paradox. Um, you know, aliens sent this message. This strange object that's heading towards us is uh, is basically a a message, and we and then we receive it. And it, it, again, it, it just this man is in a higher in a high position of. Uh, scientists and uh i'm sorry guys this is all conspiracy stuff i just don't believe in uh in this type of stuff i just don't um but um the bible says that uh the stars will fall from the heavens and they are demonic demons they are fallen angels all right but uh it's like elon he sent the tesla up there and uh Possibly an alien is going to see that Tesla with a dummy inside the vehicle. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just sending messages out there. Didn't we send, like, something with uh, Elvis Presley records and stuff like that? I mean, uh, or, or the Beatles? I don't know. But, um, again, you know, sending this stuff first so that way we come in peace. Peace. E.T. phone home. Um, I just, it's hard for me to believe this here, guys. If the audio was really bad, I totally apologize. It's the video itself, but the link will be the link will be in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Uh, give me one second here. Let me see if I can find any more information about this story here. Once again, hit that like, hit that notification bell, and thank you again for your support. What are your thoughts on this? Um, Um, yeah, this is basically it. I'm not saying any more. But yeah, this is where we are right now, guys. Now they are saying October 30th. They are saying October the 30th. So, give me a second here. Yeah, this is everything. So, again, I will keep it updated when it comes to all these news here, guys. Again, uh, like I said, uh, I do believe in scriptures. Uh, uh, again, the Bible says uh, that uh, the stars will fall from the heavens. And the stars is a metaphor for angels. In the beginning, the stars fell from the heavens. Uh, the fallen angels, they were cast out from the heavens. Um, and... Uh, Again, we could possibly see that uh, in these last days, along with the Euph again the Euphrate River, and um, you know, end times uh, tribulation. Again, we're not gonna be there. I mean, there's still so much that needs to be fulfilled. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been fulfilled in Bible prophecy. But uh, Jesus warns about all these things, and First John tells us many antichrists will come into the world. All right, guys, uh, again, focus on Christ, focus on scriptures, all these things of the world. It's not going to help us. Again, there are aliens. We, Christ believer, are aliens. We are foreigners to this world as citizens. Our citizenship is the kingdom of heaven. 
Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.